Hey everybody, so we have some signing news to talk about here as Adam Lowry has re-signed with the Winnipeg Jets to a five-year contract extension worth $3.25 million per year. This is a uh, obviously a pretty long deal here for a, for a bottom six guy like Lowry, but at the same time, uh, not a bad cap pit, just a little bit of a raise over what he's making right now. And for a heart and soul player who's become very, very important to the Winnipeg Jets over the last few years, um, not really a, a contract that I'm going to complain about. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this works out long term. But he is only 28 years old and has an opportunity to be a very solid player for them for the foreseeable future, hence getting this contract. So... Um, you know, I guess the big thing that stands out to me is that I'm always a little weary of giving, you know, physical bottom six bigger players like this longer term deals, like a five year deal like this, but the cap hit really is not that bad at 3.25 million. So I think it's, it's a perfectly fine contract. It's not one that I'm looking at at them going, like, oh, that, that cap hit's going to hurt them really down the road. 3.25 mil, it's a little bit of a raise over what he's making right now. Right now, he's making a just under uh, 3 million at 2.9 something. So it's about a quarter of a million dollar raise over what he's making now. The cap hit obviously won't increase that much. And um, Lowry's become a really solid player for them. Now, his best season did come back in 2016-17 so it's been a little while since he's had his best NHL season when he had 15 goals and 29 points it was also happens to be the only year he played every game of the season um uh so far in his NHL career but he's been pretty good this year uh 44 games played he has eight goals 12 assists for 20 points and uh you know if you stretch those numbers out over the course of a full season, he would be pretty close, if not better, than his best season in the league. At least assist and points-wise, he would be on pace for better. Goals-wise, wide, goals wise, he'd be pay, on pace for about the same. So uh, he's having a good year. He's been healthy this year, which is nice to see because the past couple of seasons, he has missed some time with injury, but he's been healthy this year. And he is a big, powerful forward um, built for playoff style hockey. He's physical. He can hit. He can drop the gloves when he needs to, although he doesn't fight a whole lot. Um, definitely a heart and soul kind of guy that you want on your team. I've become a big fan of Adam Lowry watching him play throughout his career and definitely the kind of guy that I would want on my third or fourth line in the NHL. Um, and Winnipeg, I think really, really likes having him around and that's why they're giving him this contract. You know, it'd be It'd be very easy to just kind of either, you know, let him go when he hits 30 or, you know, to, to kind of give him a one or two year deal. But obviously they know the value of Adam Lowry giving him a five year deal. They know that he's the kind of player that they want on their third line for the foreseeable future. And, you know, he, he's been very consistent as well, where, you know, he's not going to wow you with huge numbers, but he's going to bring an effort every single night. He's going to play the physical side of the game. He's going to go to the net. He can chip in offensively. He's had uh, now five 20 plus point seasons in his career. Um, he, he When he's playing well, he's easily a third liner and can give you a third line offense as well. Sometimes if the offense isn't there, he's probably better suited as a fourth line guy. But uh, when the offense is going, he's certainly a, a third line player. And again, I'm, I've always been a little we weary of giving long-term deals to these kinds of bottom six tough physical guys but um the cap hit is not one that I think is going to be a problem at any point so that definitely makes it worth it and it's certainly worth it for the Winnipeg Jets to keep one of their heart and soul players around so um no complaints coming from me um not much more else to say. I'm a big fan of Adam Lowry. I love his style of play. I think he's a really valuable third line guy. And uh, he's having a really nice season this year, which could end up being his um, his best, you know, depending on how he ends, finishes uh, points wise. Um, 
Probably not going to surpass 29 points because of the shortened year, but if you definitely if you took the pace that he's on and stretched that out over a 82 game season, this probably would be his best NHL season. So, um, you know, he's right in that prime point of his career at 28 years old, where you're seeing the the best of Adam Lowry, and if he can keep playing that way for the next three four years, the Winnipeg Jets are going to be really really happy. So. Um, Pretty much just uh, my thoughts on the deal there. I think it's a solid signing, and he's an important you know, role player for the Winnipeg Jets to keep around, and I think they realize that, which is why they've given him, they've given him this deal. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon, merchandise store, donation link, and channel memberships are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon.